Hi everyone, John Jackson here and welcome to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you the upgrade and the hackintoshing on Lenovo ThinkSentry M3P tiny but very powerful computer and right now it's running macOS Catalina. So let me show you this battery. First of all, this is not a new computer, then it's not a bombastic unboxing, but I did buy this little one in, on the internet and it's arrived very organized and protected in this box. It's gonna be my secondary setup for simple tasks, tests and research. It arrived with VESA mount and power supply very similar to a Lenovo laptops PSU. And look this little guy dude. Looks this little guy. Very interesting computer because it accepts RAM upgrade, CPU upgrade, min PCI upgrade and offers gigabit Ethernet, two monitor port with display port and VGA port and all USB port and 3.0 version so let's go to upgrade first we need to remove the VESA mount cover and uh, screw it up here and here to remove the SSD drive Now I'm gonna remove the 2GB RAM, open these two clips and insert the 4GB RAM DDR3. So okay great. Now I'm gonna put the thermal paste. Um, I like put this 5 points because it's more effective in the thermal transference. Uh, so. <laughs> I think and screw down our screw of the heatsink and cooler reconnect and screw down the SSD drive and finally put back cover the case with a mount and screw down the latch screw here So now let's go to the installation. I have here the USB stick with the App Store installation and with Clove Book Loader that I created on my other computer. And as we can see, it's working fine. Then the installation process are very simple. Just format the SSD drive as APFS and select the disk format for install the macOS Catalina. Finishing the installation and so well done. I have configured the bootloader setup this beautiful wallpaper phone from Big Sure. And I did configure the time machine backups. The video cache is working good, and as we can see, all hardware has been recognized for the macOS, the video and monitor, the memories, and etc. Opening the Safari web browser, we can see the internet working as well. And opening my personal blog, working good. So, okay, this is a great computer for hacking caution. Then, that's it for today. It's on a quick demonstrative video. Please follow me on my social networks. The link are in the description below and see you around.